Pierluigi de Palestrina is possibly the most relevant composer in Catholic sacred music. He composed 104 masses, but Misa e Pape Marcelli is his masterpiece. This is the only mass composed specifically for a pope, Marcellus II, who never got to hear it because he died just 22 days after his election. The Deutsche Grammophon has released this recording, the first of its kind, since it was done in the Sistine Chapel, the location for which it was intended, and using the original music sheets. Look at some of the details of the main source of Misa e Papa Marcelli. It is the first edition of the musical sheets. The first page is this fantastic edition that has the coat of arms of the King of Spain, surrounded by this frame of musical motifs. We have recorded this mass for Pope Marcellus and the two motets that remind us of the theme of mercy. The choir, made up of children and adults, is very international. With this album, the Pope's Choir celebrates in its own way the Jubilee of Mercy. Apart from the Mass, they sing two unpublished motets. Few people know that this is the longest lived choir in the world. It performs at papal ceremonies since 1471. I am the only Pole in the 600 year old history of the Sistine Chapel, but it is a privilege for me, an honor. It's a wonderful experience to be here. It's the most extraordinary building. And to sing music which was written for this building, in this building, uh, is an inspiring experience. I have been in the choir of the state of Peru more or less eight years. To be able to continue this experience like this is like winning the lottery. This is the Sistine Chapel's second album, and it is a gift for music lovers. The first album, Cantate Domino, was on the top 100, and it received the Echo Classic Award in Germany.